Hey guys, it's Dwayne here from Dewey HQ, and today we're back with some more Persona 5. Felt like we didn't do much in the last episode, so here I am. I'm gonna be recording again, um, the following day. Uh, but I wanted to get some more stuff done. It felt like I hadn't got my real Persona fix. So we're on the currently on the, uh, the 4th of July. Uh, so we just took Kaneshiro's heart, um, and we're waiting for the results. So in the meantime, we have a few days to mess around, get some skill points, get some social links done. Um, so there's nothing more we can do today. So let's hop in bed. Well, now all we need to do is wait for the change, wait for them to have a change of heart tonight. You can take it easy. I don't think we go to the velvet room tonight. Now we have a that Kaneshiro truly yeah. was an evil stain on society. Same with Kamoshida and Madarame too. They. Still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? They're too scared. So it's because they don't have the courage. Humans are so weak. Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human? When I touched the treasure, some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but I really may not be human. Just be confident. Who do you think you're talking to? Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves, after all. Feels like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper. So we get rank 5. We get Pickpocket, a chance to obtain an item when Joker performs a melee attack. All right. It's a lot more helpful than you'd think, because when you're training and you're grinding experience, a lot of the time you don't want to use your um, SP. Um, so by doing normal melee attacks with Joker, you can grab items, which is fantastic. So you never know, you can get uh, blank cards, you can get... What else can you get? You can get all sorts of all sorts of random stuff, and it's just good, just a good skill. Come on, it's not good for you to stay up this late. Let's go to sleep. Oh no, we're going to the velvet room. I didn't think this happened until later. Master wishes to speak with you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? The other metaverse user? Even a chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed, I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. <laughs> Yet another thing for me to look forward to. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. So we get High Arcana Burst. Uh, increases the experience given, uh, granted by Arcana Burst. All right. Always a good skill. Extra experience. It's time, inmate. Return to your world. Tuesday the fifth. Makoto, were you sleeping? 
I'm I'm still asleep. I assume it's okay if you're able to make such jokes. There's something I feel I should let you know. Kanashiro contacted me. Kanashiro? He said he's calling off our debt. It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. And, um, my sister and her team have taken him into custody. What? It appears they did not want him to disappear, if you know what I mean. His group was called a mafia after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? It's hard to say for sure yet. I see. What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kanashiro mentioned? I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. This humidity is overwhelming. Good morning. It's quite hot today. By the way, Kanashiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? His change of heart draws near. The Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. It's going to get busy. True. This is true. With the added attention, we may receive more requests on the message board. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we have the chance. I think you may know this already, but I've been ordered by Principal Kawakawa to look for culprits. Is he onto us? It seems we're fine for now, but we can't let our guard down. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend my time in the student council room. If there's ever an emergency, feel free to find me there. So, that's pretty much an invitation to go hang out with Makoto. So let's quickly check our personas. We got a Star, Temperance, Devil, Tower, Moon, Priestess, Death, and Lovers. Um, we're going to be okay for now. We're hanging out with Kawakami tomorrow night. Uh, so we've got Temperance ready to go. Alright. Who's in our messages? Uh, so it looks like Yusuke is hanging out. So we're going to not worry about Yusuke. Be always sure to check your phone. There's cases where you can miss requests that Machine will send you. And you want to essentially just make sure that he's around. Because people have missed one quest and they've missed the trophy. Um, okay. So we're going to head upstairs. Because that's where Makoto is. Um, I don't think there's anything else we have to do today. No. Uh, do you need something on the third floor? Uh, have you come to the library, perhaps? I came to see you. Do you have a minute? It seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? It seems I have enough knowledge to invite Makoto out. So you need three knowledge to actually hang out with her, and if you've been following the guide to a T, you should be sweet. There's something I want to ask you, uh, if it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. Now then, let's go find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. Hey, I have a question to ask you. Is that okay? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think 
I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. What are you planning on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. But I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. You're totally right. I can select it. I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? In the arcade? Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Let's go now. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there! You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. You wanna try it? I if it's okay with you. Do you think you could teach me? I did it! Uh, no way! Ah! Makoto's loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game that you notice that. Oh, so this is how it is. Well, what'd you think? Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. And that might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. And that was a new side of you. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. I look forward to it. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. I can sense a strong resolve from Makoto. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the priestess persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Priestess, rank one. Shadow Calculus allows you to see skills and potential item drops when on the analysis screen. All right. By the way, 
You went to the Red Light District when you were chasing after Kaneshiro, right? I'd like to go there as well. No, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. See ya. And speaking of the red light district, ah, we're gonna head over there very shortly. Can I sure got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. Do you think we can trust him? I doubt he'd lie if we had a change of heart. Looks like we're in the clear then. We can't be sure of that just yet. You mean he might not have had a change of heart? No, I'm relatively certain he did, but that's not the issue. Despite Kanashiro's change, his organization remains intact. We can only hope that he doesn't abscond those photographs? Oh, what a name. You mean like run off with it? I guess that is possible. After all, loss of a leader doesn't necessarily spell out the demise of a group. That's merely common on it, knowledge. But the opposite sometimes holds true as well. Some groups lack strong, the strong guiding hand will simply crumble. So this all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do is pray that the pieces fall in our favor. Hopefully Kanashiro's confession motivates the police to crack down on the mafia. I would love nothing more than to see them defeated once and for all. That part will be up to Makoto's sis. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait and result until the wait until the result becomes clear. Okay. So we're gonna be heading over to the red light district. We're not hanging out with uh Oya. She's at the crossroads. Uh, first thing I wanted to check. So I want to check how many what are they under? This is materials, essentials. I want to know so we've got one mega fertilizer, so I bought two in the in the last time I went there. So we're gonna head over to the where is it? Uh, the Shujiku, Shinjuku, sorry. I'm gonna head to the red light district. I need to buy five more bags of mega fertilizer. So machine is here too. Thanks for dropping by. So I need to buy not eleven. One, two, three, four, five. So if we buy five, we should be all sweet. And we won't need to uh, buy any more mega fertilizer because we'll be able to get max our kindness. Um, so, as we can see, Machine is hanging out here. Damn it. And the Oya son, she was the devil's incarnate. She was horrible. What happened? <sighs> She's pretty, but it's super scary. I got blasted by endless questions and got hit on by a drag queen. And after that, I got yelled at, and then just where did I go wrong? Seriously? But anyway, I did my best to promote the Phantom Thieves. Remember when you're reading glowing articles about you guys, okay? Um. Um, yeah. So what we're actually doing today is we're actually going to talk with the fortune teller, Chihaya. Oh, oh Yokado son from the other day. I remember you. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please take a seat. Um, you want to purchase the Holy Stone, huh? Just for 100,000 yen, you can change your fate. Mm. Ah, for that much, you better not... For that much, it better not change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. If you do end up buying one, we should go home and test it out. Well, what do you want to do? We're going to buy one. Thank you very much. This is what we need the 100,000 yen for. We will see it in future, uh, but for now, we're just... Pretty much 100,000 yen out of pocket, which kind of sucks. The Holy Stone. Mm -hmm. It's a smart thing to do, considering this is the only way to avoid misfortune. It's already changed with a hap with a happiness aura, or charged you with it. It's already charged with a happiness aura so you'll be able to feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it within moonlight every three days. 
Please stop again and let me know how it's changed your fate. Well, then. Goodbye. I should head home. Uh, oh, you're home. Back. I was just about to close up the shop, but I forgot to turn off the stove. I guess you you start forgetting things as more as you get older. Hey, hey. Well, last time we went to that fortune teller, the chief won the lottery. I wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. It should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid 100,000 yen for this holy owl. What the heck? <sighs> Could you keep things a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the... Wait, do we? I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey do you mind looking over the shop while I... For real? The stone shattered! What's gotten into you? Whoa. It, it tastes salty. Hey, the holy stone is just salt. Mm -hmm. Dewey, what's going on? I'm just a bit salty. You're salty? That reminds me, I was about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. Mm. Hmm. I think this technically is rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding up some before. Well, in that case, maybe the holy stone is meant to help you get better at cooking. That fortune teller tricked us. What? She's saying she, she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? You could have bought loads of fatty tuna with that money. No way. So, that holy stone was really just a phony stone in the end? That fortune teller's name was Chihaya, right? She clearly had some kind of mystical power, but this is just unacceptable. Hey. We need to go complain to her. It turns out the holy stone was that I bought from Chihaya was a fake. I should go and talk to her and try and figure out her true intentions. So, we got scammed out of 100,000 yen and it got us nothing. Sad face. Shogi? That's a grandpa's ass game to get into. Nah, it's back in fashion. There are a bunch of young Shogi pros out there. I've been following Hifumi Togo. She's incredibly skilled for a high school student, not to mention pretty. She hasn't played much lately, but I heard she practices somewhere alone in a church somewhere. She plays Shogi in a church? I don't get it. It seems strange. Hey, did you hear what those two said? The pretty shogi player? Hey, wait. That's what you're focused on? Anyway, I think you should consider learning shogi. Shogi strategies might be useful in metaverse battles. Hi. All right, everyone, quiet down. I'm changing my lesson for today. Instead of a regular lesson, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully. But don't think you can slack off, okay? I won't absolutely allow it. No slacking off. Kawakami's graciously given us this free time. We better use it wisely. What do you want to do? So, what's the plan? We're going to read. We're going to continue reading in the Medjed Menace. Do you have virus protection? Introducing the newest software. What are your thoughts? There's danger of foot in the internet world, it seems. Oh. So you finished reading the Medjed Menace. They were like gentlemen thieves targeting evil corporations, but now they're all glory seeking hackers. They're sorta of like the phantom thieves that nobody knows but nobody knows exactly who they are. That section on the computer security was difficult, but I'm sure you gained some knowledge from it. <laughs> so I'm gonna get three knowledge points. Which is nice. Alright. You got it. Ah, that was great. You should thank Kawakami for this later. Ah, 
Again, I really love the rain in the, like in this game. So it is part of the rainy season. Um, so we're gonna be heading out to we're gonna be heading out to Shibuya actually. Um, I don't think there's anyone actually walking around at, at this point in the story. Uh, but we'll go look around, shall we? So we're gonna head over to uh, Market Street. And we're going to head over to the bookshop, I believe. Because we've now finished reading The Medjed Menace. Okay. I don't know, there's something, like, very calming about uh, getting around Shibuya. Um, I, can feel it. I don't see anyone walking around. It's always good to look around for any extra characters. Any extra hints? Okay. So, we're going to be heading over to the Central Street, and we're also going to be heading over to the Diner, because it is rainy, so we can get that three knowledge points up. So, first we're going to head into the bookshop, and we want to purchase Tidying the Heart, which is this one. Now that we've got Tidying the Heart, we're all good to go there. And we're going to head up to the diner. Um, I don't think there's anything I really need to get rid of. I'm probably just going to quickly go to the gun shop. I'll quickly sell the treasure we got when we are growing into Karnashura's dungeon. And I'll be able to sell the revolver that we took off from Makoto. Okay, so okay. we're going to sell this. We should be grateful. And we're going to sell the replica revolver. I guess that's fine. And apart from that, I think we're all good to go. Come again. Um, who we got a message from? Arn. Yeah, I think Arn's pretty much keen to hang out with us pretty much whenever now because we're at rank 9 with her. Nice. So we're going to go into the diner. And we're going to get our guts up as well as our knowledge. I'm going to take the hot coffee. Mm. How many cups of coffee does that make it? Man. I can't believe you stayed here just ordering coffee. You got some guts. Hey. And your studying went well. Extra study point because it was really quiet. Wanna head back? Rain, huh? Uh, I get sick of how many few customers we get during the rainy season. You know, I've been curious. What is Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? I imagine there's a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have a very interesting classmate. She's a female shogi player who seems quite skilled at that. Are you talking about Hifumi Togo? I remember hearing that she's a student at Kosei. She apparently is the most beautiful shogi player around right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. But she is not the kind of person to let others close to her. She sounds like she's only focused on her shogi pursuits. After all, it is said that she is a lone genius. However, I have heard that she is commonly seen at the church over in Kanda. For real? We gotta go! You'll probably get struck down by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. That ain't it. This is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, shogi's kind of battle, right? She's gonna all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh, that's quite the stretch. Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. Uh, you guys are gonna pay for this one day. Do we? You go spy on her for me. Find out if she's really cute as they say she is. 
Let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a, sh a shogi expert? Striking the enemy within a moment's inspiration, skillfully strategizing towards victory. Those might actually be good tactics and might work for the Phantom Thieves. She said there was a church in Kanda, right? We should check it out when you have the time. So we've unlocked the location for that. But we're not going to be doing that today. We're going to be hanging out with Kawakami. This is Becky, I want to see you master, so please request me. Kawakami's working, use the yellow phone if you're going to call her. Um, yeah, and we get the temperance boost. So we won't get the boost, uh, we won't get the rank up, but we're going to call her over anyway. Because we do need to spend some time with her. Then I'll head over. I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room for me. Clean, clean up your room and wait for me. Kawakami seems happy that I requested her. Is it my imagination or does she not look well? I feel like my bond with Kawakami is going to grow stronger soon. I'll see you well, later then. see you. Good morning. It's hot today again. Kanashiro's deadline is drawing nearer. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. We're fine. <laughs> As expected from somebody, someone who's already been through this three times already. If you say so, then I'm sure it'll go well. Oh yeah, today is Tanabata, the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll put up damp bamboo decorations and write my wish on a piece of paper though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh yeah, there's traditional food associated with Tanabata, just as chocolate is to Valentine's Day. Oh, Kaito-kun. What is the traditional food of Tanabata? It is so men. That's correct. Right? Well, I'm kind of surprised. You actually care about seasonal holidays and stuff. Originally in China, they ate baked goods that we call sakubei in, in Japanese to appease demons. Over time, the pronunciation went from sakubei to sakumen to somen, a whole different food. All right, so we're gonna get that knowledge. It's gonna count the grand scheme of things to get ranked up. Um, if we're going with the theme of calming demons, Soman is, on Tantabata is sometimes called demon guts. Uh, go and restore your strength with seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Mm. Oh yeah, it's almost finals time. They start on the 13th, right? There's less than a week left. Are you ready? Okay, so we're going to be hanging out with Makoto today. Be sure to have a priestess persona like Isis with you. And we're also going to be... No, we're going back to the... No, we're going back to the um, red light district to get try and get our money back. Uh, so let's go find Makoto. She should be up here somewhere. Oh, I should probably check my messages, eh? Uh, decline just yet. Uh, it's public exhibition. So we're ready to rank up with Yusuke. I'll decide later.
Uh, or meet up with Shinjuku, make sure you come dressed in normal clothes. Um, I guess I can go take a walk around the station while you're doing stuff. Yeah, I always forget that Morgana, Morgana doesn't come with us. Mm. There's so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. I heard there's quite a few brothels as well. You're very well informed. Yes. Yeah, I've heard a great deal of it from my father. This is actually the first time I've been here myself though. Regardless, it's become far safer than it used to be. Of course, the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that. But, it's mainly thanks to the police efforts to clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems that operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. At Makoto's request, we walked separately through Mish Shinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. <sighs> Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted to do was ask him if any Shujin students worked there but he nearly dragged me inside with him. If he hadn't been there to rescue me, I... That was dangerous. Yes. For him, maybe. I thought I was gonna have to knock him out. I'm glad nobody got hurt, though. I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. Feel quite the motivation from Makoto. Priestess, level two. We get baton pass. About time. Thank right. you. <laughs> that aside, even though there is this is a shopping district, there's absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students, though I would doubt they come in their uniform either way. Well then. Hmm. <laughs> that was. Did you notice that? I used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? The after-school salon. What kind of place is that? I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. We'll have to ask her about it. Oh, and I'd like you to be there too, as my witness. Would that be okay? We spent a quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right, then. Thank you for today. Little does she know we're going back there. <laughs> ah, According to Yusuke's info, there's a famous shogi player in Kanda, right? Uh, if we have the time, why don't we go meet them? Hold your horses, Morgana. He sounds more into it than I am. Um, so we're going to head over to the Shinjuku. Head, head to the red light district. We want to get our money back. We want more money. Alright. Hey. Let's ask Chihaya about the Holy Stone. Hmm, she's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want to eavesdrop on them? <laughs> yeah. Of course I do. Um. How are you healing? It's fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. He says he doesn't want me want to hit me, but I just make him so mad. I suggest you. I suggest you break things up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But, I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the turret. O oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Is this? Yes, I've seen everything. 
Hmm. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. The demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it'll bring with a great misery. What kind of misery? You will be hospitalized for severe injuries suffered in domestic abuse incident, and he will be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I, I knew I shouldn't have let you you throw away my holy stone. He said I shouldn't be wasting money on some dumb rock, that I should be giving it to him instead. This is my punishment for letting him do that, right? Please, let me buy another one from you. What? what? You want another one? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but can I pay you up to 36, in 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon Yuya. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone. There's no way that could be true, right? It was just rock salt. Right. It'd make our job way easier if you could change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Chihaya has some fortune telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Dewey, let's change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves. I mean, he's hurting this woman here, right? This is the perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Mm. Huh? Meowing? What? Hey! Were you eavesdropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. The stone won't help her. That's not true. You see, some fates in this world are simply inescapable. The demon within your boyfriend's heart, it cannot be exercised by normal human mythologies. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you would be able to control the demon's temper if you bought another holy stone. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know any other way that I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? Huh? His full name is Yuya Uchimura. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning to do? Yes. What do you expect to change from that meager information? I'm going to change fate. What? You honestly believe you can do something? I... I trust you. Goodness gracious. Excuse me? I feel like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all the money. And he's going to pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in this boy than 36 payments for a holy stone. What? You, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. Hmm. I've seen everything. A vision of you groveling on the ground. Fine. Fate cannot be changed, and I will prove that fact to you. Is that woman... If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she'll meet a horrible injury within a year's time. And if you honestly believe me that you can try and change her destiny, go ahead and try. But you'll realize the error in your thinking and come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with a holy stone. Well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. So, we're going to be changing fate. Ah, well, I'm going to grab a seat. Why don't we read something until we get there? So I'm going to be reading the Tiding the Heart. Hmm? The secret to decluttering the pure and serene heart. Hmm. This is, a book. is this book really about cleaning or is it about training you to become a monk? Hey, hey. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? 
Uh, looks like you've still got some pages left over. We'll continue this another time. We're almost at the station. It's pretty much the exact same type of stuff, so I'll just shorten those types of dialogue. Um, yeah, there's not much you can say about it. By the way, uh, there's no. This may be the turning point in the seasons, but this heat. This must be global warming. We're all destined to fade away like the ice at the South Pole. Speaking of ice, shaved ice is one of the symbols of summer. Usually sold at festivals, they come in a varieties of. They come in many varieties, such as melon and strawberry. Kaido-kun, let me ask you this. Do you know the what is the common trait that all shaved ice syrups have on the market? They have the same flavor. Correct. The truth is, almost all kinds of syrup have the same flavor. The ingredients are used. The ingredients used are corn, corn syrup, fragrance, and food coloring which is essentially sugar water. So try closing your eyes and plugging your nose and tasting shaved ice with your tongue. You'll likely be able, unable to tell what flavor it is. That cold, sweet strawberry flavor is just a depiction of the summer, of summer produced by color and smell. A deception produced by summer. It's kind of interesting, that fact. I've never actually attempted that, but who knows. Uh, but before you can enjoy the sweet illusions of summer, you have the very real exams waiting for you. Um, they start on the next week on the 13th. Well, good luck. Less than a week? Have you been studying? Hey, we just can't let that abuse case go undressed. Unaddressed. The target should be a memento. So let's hurry up and deal with them. All right, so we're gonna be heading over to who are we hanging out with today. We're heading. Oh, we're actually going to the flower shop. So let's do that. Uh, we'll probably get our kindness up. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to really hang out with us today. So let's go to the underground mall. You can hang out with Arm, but we're not going to worry about her for now. So we're working at the flower shop. I feel like I can develop my kindness by working here. So, what are you going to do here today? I will work here. Oh right, I didn't explain some things to you last time. We occasionally get orders for banquet... Oh, for... <laughs> we occasionally get orders for bouquets in case I'd like you to pick, in which case I'd like you to pick up the flowers. Um, I'll vary your pay based on how pleased the customers are. So, uh, I, if you get stuck, I suggest you study up with the Flowerpedia. Next. You can do it. Dewey Kun, we have a bouquet. Please handle it. I'm counting They're looking it. for large this customer is looking for large, brightly colored flowers. Please pick three that would fit that description. Okay. So large, brightly colored flowers. So we're going to pick the Scarlet Rose. The Gold Gerabera. And the Gecko Orchard. Our customer is extremely happy. Well, here's your pay for today. I gave you a little bonus because of how well you did. Nice. Could work. Can work. Come back again when you have the time. Nice. Work went great today. Uh, living surrounded by flowers might be your true calling. And you were good with the customers too. I'm gonna get that nice coinus up. Boy. All right. Get that coinus. Ah, you're back. 
Uh, the deadline's tomorrow. Are we gonna be okay? Uh, the pictures are gone. He has no avenue to threaten us anymore. Uh, that is if we're able to trust what Kanashira said. Don't say such scary stuff. We can't relax just yet. He may end up being released from police custody. For real? That is unless they have decisive evidence for like a confession. It'll be fine. True. There does seem to be some movement. Sis actually sent me a message saying she won't be home tonight. There's a chance they may the police may have found their breakthrough. Ooh, does that mean it happens? The timing is perfect. I guess you, we can just hope for the best. I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news to find out. So, first we're gonna be heading upstairs. Because we actually want to drop some of that mega fertilizer we picked up earlier. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to our house plant. Drop some mega fertilizer in there. You gonna use that one? You must really care about that plant. Boy. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're all good there. And we're actually gonna be hanging out with Kawakami tonight. Um, so we're not hanging out with Oya. So let's call out Kawakami. Oh, perhaps you're Kairo-san? Mm. That voice on the phone wasn't Kawakami. Maybe you should ask some more details. Who is this? This is the head nurse at the Aoyama Hospital, speaking on behalf of Kawakami-san. Kawakami fainted and is currently in hospitalized at our facility. Do you know our hospital's address? Her room number is... This isn't good. Let's head over there right away. I'm just a little overworked. There's no need to make a big deal about it. But thanks for coming to visit, coming all this way to visit me. <sighs> How could I collapse at a time like this? I really need to make some money. How am I going to make today's payment? Tch, there you are. What's going on, Miss Kawakami? I called the school, but there was no one. No one answered. What? Takase-san, you contacted the school? You weren't answering your phone. And when I thought you had finally answered it, it was the nurse who told us that you were here. It was a real inconvenience for us to miss a payment, you know. Now, now, it's not like she wanted to collapse. But our credit card payment is coming up soon, so we need you to transfer that money. I'm sorry. These are Takase's guardians. The ones that I mentioned the other day. They took care of him. Who's this? He's one of my students. He came to visit me. Messing around with another student, huh? <laughs> you never learn, do you? <laughs> and after all you did to him. I'm sorry. So, when are you going to transfer the money? I should be able to send it out tomorrow. Don't pay them. Kaido-kun. You stay out of this. Don't act so tough, kid. Our precious adoptive son, Taki, died because of this woman. Honestly, she should have been fired. Ugh. That's not... And yet, she still doesn't know her place. She can still continues to teach. We're going to need you to show some remorse for what you did to him. In a material and an undeniable way. I understand. I'll pay you. So, it's not like we're trying to extort you, but who was it that convinced Taki to start studying when he needed to be working? The schoolwork on top of his part-time jobs were overwhelming for him, which led him to that accident. Poor Taki, he almost, it was almost like he was murdered. So, you no, no longer feel regret? In that case, perhaps we should sue the Board of Education. Or should we have a chat with your school? Either way, your days as a teacher will be over. We're looking forward to your receiving your payment. <sighs> I have to figure out a way to make more money. I guess transferring over transferring to our sister company is the only other way. Think this through more. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting scolded by my student. Why? Why are you so interested in helping me? I'm not worth it. 
<laughs> you know what? I'm going to stop worrying about it. The money? I'll pay it. I'll do everything my master tells me to do. Now. I'm so tired. All I really want is a way to apologize to Takase-kun. So, if his guardians demand money, then I'll just have to pay them. Just rest for now. Sorry, I'm not quite back to 100%, so my thoughts are all over the place. I'm going to get some rest. I appreciate you coming to visit me today. It made me really happy. I feel that Kawakami is starting to depend on me. Temperance, rank 7. Super housekeeping allows you to request Kawakami to make curry or infiltration tools for you. There's a note. Any infiltration tools made by Kawakami will not count towards the trophy, and I think that's why I got bugged on my um, on my playthrough. I think I made it. I think I got it to make one thing, and um, I didn't unlock that trophy. So um, just keep in mind that that will happen. All right. <laughs> I'll be released first thing tomorrow, so don't worry. The IVs work really well. Visiting hours are over. I'll see you later then. Get home safe, okay? Mm. Look at all those police cars. Did something happen? Looks like they're searching the premises. Another psychotic breakdown? I can't handle this. Does it have something to do with those posters we saw? Did they arrest the phantom thieves? So we got a 10% boost in our um, in our fan site, and whether we are just as phantom thieves. I heard they caught some criminal. People are saying it was foretold by a calling card. Oh, I know about that. I saw them in Shibuya. That phantom thieves farm is super active. There's a farm? What's it called? I want to see. Ah, it's so hot. Who cares? Did you catch the news report about the morning in this morning about the mafia boss getting busted? Apparently someone scattered calling cards across Shibuya just before the arrest. Remember Kamashita's scandal? They said the same thing happened, someone left a calling card. Matarame too, if I'm not mistaken. Do you think it's the Phantom Thieves? If so, I'm actually impressed. I can't believe they actually steal hearts. No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. And yet he simply turned himself in. Even confessed all his crimes. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> the Phantom Thieves. Damn it! I heard the leader of Crime Ring, causing trouble in Shibuya, got caught. It seems that some of our students have been victimized by them, so we can breathe easy for now. I'm thankful that the police arrested the perp, even though they were just doing their job. By the way, perp is police slang. You may have heard the stars, stars in police procedurals say it. It is short for perpetrator. Speaking of stars, can you answer this question, Kaido-san? Kaido Give me an answer. What is the, what is the sum of the angles A through E? One eighty. This is it. Very That's correct. Cool. 
Man, that's a trigonometry trust question and a half, man. The sum of the angles of A through E is the same as the sum of the internal angles of the triangle, 180 degrees. Wow, really? Nice going. By the way, there are rumors that the Phantom Thieves took down this perp, the perp this time, Kanashiro. I remember their name with that bit on Matarame, as well as the incident in May. Is this a new urban legend? Anyway, please prepare for your test starting next Wednesday, and don't get distracted by all the rumors like that. Yep. Uh, lots of people talking about the Phantom Thieves. Sweet. Shiro finally confessed! People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. It's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there is a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Huh? What did it say? They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, For real? my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? It's like the catchphrase of, of like, Persona 5. For real? Yeah, for real. Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! Well, I hope all this excitement doesn't place us on the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. True, but... Do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Another Metaverse user. Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. There is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? A oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too. By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive. Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party. Wow. Seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana? Uh, what are you talking about? I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Hi, Makoto. There's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. Uh... What's wrong? Hello. I hope you remember we have finals next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. Do you wish not to stand out? You would best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? <laughs> Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, 
I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. But that's impossible! Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? <sighs> I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation to... There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Please excuse me. Hey, we're not done here! <sighs> Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. I will investigate with all the resources available to me. Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Damn it! I'm home. Hi, sis. You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really... was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. How goes it? Everything seems to be above board with you, but it doesn't mean you can slack off because summer summer's on the horizon, got it? This reaction is incredible. I'm honestly shocked to see it. It is only natural that people are surprised, even the police were struggling to catch him. Yeah, by the way, you said that you were called in by the principal? Did something happen? It was regarding the investigation of the incident with Mr. Kamashita. Don't worry, I didn't mention a word about any of you. I essentially told him that I was unable to find any information. Thank you, Makoto. Don't mention it. I graduated from my role as an exemplary honor student. From now on, I'm going to be more honest with myself. It's quite a refreshing feeling. So what are you going to do now? Want to stay with the Phantom Thieves? That was my intention, assuming that won't be any trouble. Welcome aboard. It'd be actually a big problem if you didn't stick with us. We should allow her to join us. It'd be greatly it'd be greatly convenient. Well then, I hope I can continue getting along with all of you. An advisor, huh? This new team out of ours is pretty promising. Well, we should be able to do even more. Okay, so I'm gonna call it quits for today. Um, we've done a fair bit. We had the fallout with Kamash uh, Kanashiro, not Kamashita. Uh, Kanashiro, uh, we've boosted up a few more confidants, uh, we unlocked, um, unlocked Bakoto's confidant, and, um, we got a load of skills. So, I will see you on the next part, it was Dwayne here from Dewey HQ, signing out, see you guys. <laughs>